guys. Hey, Tatiana. <laughs> I just watched season five and I was blown away by it as I am by all seasons of The Expanse. <laughs> <laughs> but just to start, if you guys could talk a little bit about the Amos and Peaches connection. I think you guys have such a fabulous dynamic and I would love to know what you think draws you to each other. Well, I, I think uh, uh, in, at the end of episode two, when Amos is uh, thinking about his relationship with Lydia and what, how she guided him out of the darkness that he was in and the trajectory of his life at that moment, he realized how lucky he was to have something like her, but that even though he was so damaged and, and abused at a, at a young age, that he had somebody that, that, uh, that helped him through that. And he realized that Nadine, uh, that Clarissa and him were very much alike and that they both done things that, you know, were terrible, but it doesn't mean they're necessarily a terrible person. And so in that moment, he had the motivation to, to go to Clarissa. He didn't really know how to articulate it or even what he would do, but he knew that he wanted to try to help her. And that's what motivated him to go see her. I think that, I'm, oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh no, I was gonna say your name, so. <laughs> please speak. <laughs> I think the Amos Peaches connection started when they were on their way back to earth to take her to prison because he helped her become a better mechanic and a better engineer and was the only one probably not shunning her right? Because he knows killers. He is one himself. He wasn't affected like the other people who just didn't want anything to do with her ever again. So him being that sounding board for her on the way back and then kind of building a friendship and then being the only person there for her when she had, you know, given up on life basically um, says a lot. I, you know, she thinks he's really interesting. I mean, Amos has this um like who are you where do you come from <laughs> kind of vibe and i think the fact that he calls her peaches and she has no idea why is just you know it, it's just adorable <laughs> it is adorable <laughs> but speaking about the you know where do you come from vibe in this season we are finally spending time in where amos came from how different is it to bring baltimore back up to the surface if you will for you Wes? i uh I, I felt like I was working on a different movie. You know, my first day of shooting uh, we, is when Amos gets to Baltimore. So we're in the middle of the city. Uh, there was hundreds of extras. I didn't have my, my the Amos coveralls. I, I, I wasn't on the Rocinante with the regular crew. Uh, and the scale was so much bigger. I wasn't on a stay on stage. I wasn't on a spaceship set. So it, it just, it, it took a second to get me grounded and kind of really f- re- figure out what story I was telling. But uh it's, it felt so different. This whole season felt so different. Um, and Nadine, Clarissa this season really gets to showcase that she can be a moral compass despite her past. Um, so how would you, um, how do you see her kind of atoning for her sins in the position she's in now in Baltimore? Well, I think the fact that Clarissa's kind of left alone with you know, her sister gone, her father completely abandoning her, no family, no friends. She's put herself in this space where she's just got to live with, uh, with what she's done by herself. Um, and so kind of coming out of that, she's trying to find herself and say, am I, am I worthy of a second chance? Is that even possible? Can I be a good person anymore? And, and then working her way through figuring that out and, and trying her hardest to be a better human and prove to herself that she can do it. She was trying to prove to her worthiness to her father the entire time. And now that that's kind of that, you know, that slate is just wiped clean. I think she can do finally do it for herself. And that's an important journey. Yeah. Well, I cannot wait for everyone to see your journeys uh, on this season and congratulations on such a brilliant show and wonderful characters. Thank you. Have a great day. You too.